Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle and this must be amongst the favored arenas of supporters all over the world it really does have a very special feel to it Newcastle have opted for a 3-5-2 here, Jim. Well, the beauty of this system, Peter, is that you can offer both a back five and a front two, having sufficient strength at either end of the team where you need it. Equally, the wing-backs can supplement the numbers in midfield to make it a five, so I think it affords managers the ultimate flexibility. And I think if I were really pushed on what I'd like most, this would be the, uh, this would be the system. So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, N'Golo Kante. He is only one midfielder, but it often feels like he does the work of two or three. He's got exceptional awareness for danger and the stamina to make sure he can go and, and snuff it out over and over again if required. He's also exceptional in the tackle. And when you watch him, in the latter parts of a game, 90th minute plus, he looks as if he's in the first five. He would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Has a look and has a go. Defending of the desperate variety. And here's the chance to counter. Fernandez tries to get it forward quickly. Done very well to intervene. Harvats gets it back and he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Good clearance and very necessary. Marcos Alonso. Oh, the question that's a foul. Gets a ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. Mant tried to play it through. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. And it's played forward. James. Still goalless at the moment. And it's Zayek. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Hendrick. not played the ball that's a foul and that's going to be a booking Staff and battles to win it back. Goes direct to the front line. And that's sprayed out wide. Lewis. Go 
goes for the cross. Jorginho. Jorginho goes looking out to the right. Going for goal! He's missed, but not by that far. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. as well to read it and intercepts good ball Alonso danger averted for now Jorginho and here's Kante Marcos Alonso plays it through James Goalkeeper's ball. Lewis drives it forward. And it's Wilson. Mant is the guilty party there. James is steaming forward. He's had a look. Well, Red, he sorted that out. And through to the goalkeeper. And there is the half time whistle. Both, both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least defensively. So they head in no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. So we're just settling back into this second half. Chelsea can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Lascelles. Keeper's got good distance on that. Thiago Silva gets into the right position to intercept. Marcos Alonso. It's on a plate. It's Jorginho! And he's there to make a great save. Jorginho is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. And that has been clubbed away. One out for a throw in. Marcos Alonso. He's got options out wide. Jacob Murphy. That'll be a throw in. Forward it goes. Conte. And it's Marcos Alonso. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Going back to the keeper. Rudy. It's gone in and it is an own goal. 
Oh, it's terribly unfortunate for them, and maybe we can attribute that to a, to a loss of focus. Newcastle got some help from Lady Luck there. They all count. Well, you can't ask for much better than that, Peter. Bang, bang, two in double quick time. Newcastle get it back again. Out to the left it goes. And the finish! Oh, denied brilliantly! Wilson really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. a half decent try Jacob Murphy certainly could have and should have made more of that Rudiger Hudson-Odoi so Jim what are you thinking well they may be down but they're far from out in terms of chances they're right up there with these opponents Chelsea showing a little more urgent can take he's giving away a free kick Referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref... And the shot! Throw it. Fraser. Hayden. Hayden drives it forward. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Conte. What a ball. Shoots. He scores. That really was a thing of beauty curled in effortlessly you know Peter from the moment it left his foot it looked unstoppable that was thumped Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and psychological edge now at this stage, but for me... Silva! Goal! Chelsea! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. You know, what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it. He chose placement instead and delivered a peach. So we have a breakthrough, now how will things develop from here? I just think this has been a lesson in character, togetherness and composure. I think most teams would have crumbled by now, but this refusal to give up is brilliant. Now it's Saul, and it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Chelsea can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Some of them aren't happy with that challenge and they're getting involved. Steady.
Kovacic. Hudson-Odoi. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Well positioned to make that interception. Hendrick. St. Maximin. More than happy to take the muscular approach. And there goes the final whistle. Chelsea have done it in dramatic fashion. A massive test of character, and they passed it with flying colours. A truly outstanding comeback by any measure.